Good morning. How you doing on this beautiful Friday? It's kind of chilly here in Virginia. I guess it's supposed to start warming up again next week, but right now it's not warm. So I wanted to come on and share with you how I start most of my mornings if I have my juices ready. I do like to start off with a glass of water room temperature every morning, but I also like to have my turmeric, ginger, and pineapple juice. And this is really good for inflammation, indigestion, um, brain function, cholesterol, weight control, and you know I already told y'all we getting high school skinny. It's also good for brain function. Did I say brain function and blood sugar levels? It's really good for that. It smells really good. I hope y'all um, try to make this. It is spicy because of the ginger. Be careful because the turmeric will, will um, stain your teeth and your clothes. After I finish drinking my ginger, turmeric, and pineapple, I go in with a glass of celery juice. So in here is celery, green apples, lemons, and what else did I put? Cucumber. And it's really good for hydration. It gives you energy and it's a natural source of energy. And I normally drink about this much. And again, I like to drink out of straws because I already told y'all I'm kind of self-conscious about my two caps that I have on here. So if there's any dentists out there that want to sponsor me and get these caps changed, hook your girl up. <laughs> Anywho, um, and I did use that coconut oil. I didn't notice a difference really, but I did notice um, some sensitivity that I was experiencing. It did help that. But as far as the whitening goes, I didn't notice much a difference, but that's just me. So don't just go on me. Try for yourself. Back to our morning routine. Um, like I said, I like to do this for hydration, for energy. It also is good for flushing your system. So it's getting those toxins out of your body. Um, and you can do a full glass. You can drink as much of this as you want. You can drink as much as of either of these as you like. And oh, I also put jalapeno in here too, because you want that, I think it's called capsaicin. I think, um, I think that's the word, but you want that heat because that's going to like invigorate the insides and move things all around. And you know, I'm just trying to get myself together and stay as healthy as possible. I'm approaching 50 in June. I'm just so excited, y'all. I can't wait. I don't know. People get nervous about saying that they're turning 50. Me, on the other hand, I'm excited. I'm ready to embrace it because so many people didn't get to, to even make it to 49. And here I am. It's almost the end of April. And I really cannot complain about a lot of my... Um, I don't have a lot of health issues. Now, the beginning of the year, it was kind of touch and go. Not really touch and go because I wasn't about to be taken up out of here going to glory or nothing. But I got really sick with a horrible cold and I started having, you know, my knee locked up. Y'all, I told y'all about my knee issues and constant issues with the shoulder. But it's nothing that I can't control and nothing that I can't get control of, I'll say. So I'm just really thankful that God has blessed me to be as healthy as I am. Um, I try to eat well, as you guys see. Um, and then, you know, juicing is like a part of my daily intake for the most part. And those days that I don't get it, it's really like I can feel a difference in my body. I feel sluggish some days. And then my appetite is different. When I do my juicing, it really helps to stave off those cravings of a lot of junk and a lot of sugar because these things have that natural sugar in it and it's filling. So let's get this together because we still have to make our tea. Now, a lot of times in the morning, I'll go in for um, calendula, calendula, however you want to say it. I'll go in with this kind of, go in with these flowers for some tea. Um, because again, these are anti-inflammatory. I don't know if you guys can see the words on there or not. Um, yeah, I don't know if y'all can see it, but I really like it. Oh, I need to get these nails redone, child. These are press-ons. So I just need to really take them off and put some new ones on, not really get them done. Anywho, focus. Um, but I like it because, you know, because of the infl inflammatory, um, the help that it gives you for your inflammation because of my shoulder and my knee. Anti-inflammatory. And I'm all about anti-inflammatory. So I normally I'll go in with this kind of tea. Today I want coffee, but not. So I'm going in with the Cafe Americano. And I love loose tea, if you can't tell. I prefer loose tea because one, 
I can control how much tea I'm putting in there. And I like to use a tea ball. It gives you so much more flavor. So let me finish this juice. Let me finish this juice. And then we're going to make our tea. All right. So the kettle is on for the tea. Now look at this. Look how it's just that amount left in there. But look at the, the glass. You can see the, the tint. And I know y'all are not like slow or nothing. But it just amazes me how people actually will drink things that have turmeric in it. Just put it up to their mouth like that. Mm -mm, that ain't the life I'm living. And this is my celery um, juice. Ooh, that pepper just got me, y'all. Cayenne peppers are best. I didn't have any cayenne, so I used jalapeno. Again, still has a capsaicin in it. Ain't that what it's called, capsaicin? Alexa, what's the spicy element of pepper? I hope it's capsaicin. According to an Alexa Answers contributor, capsaicin is what makes pepper spicy. I had it right. All right, so let's get this juice down and then we'll come back and we're gonna make our tea. All right, so juice is done. Now let's get ready to fix our tea. This is the Cafe Americano tea, Americano tea, and I really like it. It's so fragrant and it reminds me of fall. It has like cloves. Um, it also has um, nutmeg in it. And you can see that it has like little, the little, chunks of cinnamon and this is actually fresh cinnamon like they don't grind it they chunk it up so i just put it in my little i call this a tea kettle because look it looks like a little it does look like a little kettle though the kind that you hang over the fire and i like creamer in my tea so got my little spoon oh and another one of my favorite teas i think i told y'all is jasmine i'm about to grow some jasmine i wish y'all could smell it it's so fragrant but um, I want to grow jasmine um, in my garden. So we're going to probably get in the garden next week um, because it's going to be warm all next week. And we have a lot to do. We have to lay down weed barrier. This video is supposed to be about morning routine, not about the garden. Focus, girl. All right, so water is done. We're going to just pour our tea. I mean, I pour our water in. We're gonna let it steep for a good probably a good five minutes because i want it to be kind of strong i'll be back after it's steep for five minutes and then we'll add our creamer and maybe a little honey today am i feeling honey i don't know we'll be back and see all right it's been about seven minutes and my tea has steeped you should still be able to see some steam coming off of it and let's get some creamer this is the um silk almond creamer vanilla just a splash. Got some tea with some cream, and I don't really want sugar today. I don't want honey. I don't think. No, this is perfect. Oh, mmm. It almost tastes like um, more cinnamon today than that um, than the cloves. Because normally I get cloves, but today it tastes like cinnamon a lot. So anyway, that's mostly what I get in the mornings as far as my drinks go. Um, it's 1023, I have not eaten yet um, because I probably won't eat until around mm, 12, 30, one o'clock-ish. I sometimes inadvertently do intermittent fasting, so I'm not hungry, but those juices that I had, my tea, my water, It'll keep me full for quite some time. So I hope you've enjoyed watching what I drink or watching to see what I do in the morning as far as my beverages go. Um, next time I'll show you um, the chia pudding, like making the chia pudding, making some overnight oats, things like that, because they're full of protein, they're full of nutrients, and I wanna keep all the good stuff coming. So I hope that this video was informative. Um, I hope that you are doing what works for you. Not everything works for everybody. I'm doing what works for me. And yes, I am one of those that will try different fruits, vegetables, herbs, all that kind of stuff, just to see what natural products are out there that will work for me. So do what works for you, from my heart to yours, from your my kitchen to yours. I wish you nothing but health and wealth, and I'll see y'all next time.